is Wednesday my deeds and today I am going to challenge all of my eating disorder rules and just eat what I want again and just live life eat lots of good food and just think what would Joey do? Go to the beach yeah, for walkies, one, please. I don't know if it, somebody's removed it or the window still in. And what chocolate? Running up to that dog. <laughs> wow, it's, it's lovely, but it's very cold. Yeah. <laughs> Freezing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go hot chocolate. And please. Ready for the star? <laughs> Way. I'm challenging eating disorder rules and yesterday I had tiger bread for breakfast and it was just amazing and oh, oh it smells so good so I'm going to have tiger bread toasted and I, but I my head always says you can't have more than two bits of toast so I'm going to have three but I'm going to have two bits of toast and one piece of bread also I'm going to have one of the pieces of toast with butter and I haven't had butter for so long and it's such a fear even though I have it in the mash that mum makes and stuff but just oh and, and toast with butter on just so melty so I'm going to have three pieces it's just amazing. Can't believe I'm having butter on my toast. God, I'm freaking out because I'm using butter. <coughs> Even though mum puts butter in the meals, so it doesn't matter, but it's just, I never have butter on toast. That's a snip for you. Yeah. Everything is good for you. Toast with butter, toast with Nutella, and just tiger bread with Nutella, not toasted. I haven't had buttered toast for ages. Would you like your toast buttered? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Freaking out because it's butter. It's going to be so good. And it's tiger bread because tiger bread is the best. Oh my gosh, look at that crust. Yum. Buttered toast. Nice. Oh, it's so good. Not how long it Nutella bread. So soft and squidgy. Oh. I think this is going to be my favourite, so I might eat the toast first. Bread's nice. I'm saving the bread one till last. Eat the toast and then the bread. <clears throat> Best till last. very good. The toast with butter was nice for a change. But I think I prefer Nutella on toast. Do you? Yeah. But just plain bread with Nutella on is so good as well. I got some. It's so good. Mum's got some. <laughs> Honestly mum it's divine. Yeah. Yum. Ah, <sighs> smells divine. <sighs> I like the sliced tiger bread as well because it's <coughs> already perfectly sliced. 
We'll be mm. getting more of the tiger breath. <laughs> Challenging my eating disorder rules once again with snack, and I am going to have ice cream for a snack in the morning. And my eating disorder thinks that ice cream is just a dessert for after dinner, unless you go out maybe in the summer and get an ice cream in the afternoon at the beach, but never in the morning really. And it's the morning and I'm gonna have some ice cream and I, I've never tried this flavour of haagen before I've only ever tried caramel haagen and the coffee one which is really really nice mum bought these for me quite a while ago actually and I just I haven't eaten them because it's been cold but also because I just stick to chocolate bars all the time but after last night like chocolate's good but I just feel like it's nicer to just have more variety for a morning snack I'm going to have some Hagen dazs ice cream chocolate collection there's choc 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 chip chocolate salted caramel dark chocolate and almonds or Belgian chocolate and I didn't really know which one I fancied out of chocolate salted caramel or choc chip and I asked mum and she said all oh, of the chocolate chip sounds nice and it does sound nice also I had salted caramel custard last night I'm trying to branch out a bit that custard was so nice though yay which one would you choose and what's your favorite flavor ice cream before I became into chocolate bars. I used to eat so much ice cream. <gasps> oh, they're tiny. They're so cute. Oh, they are so cute. Look how cute the ice creams are. I feel like one of those people in the Greek. In Cyprus, when we go to Cyprus, they balance the plates like on their heads and stuff, and they're like, Whoppa! Oh gosh, would be no good at that. <laughs> ice cream time in the morning. Who knows? Maybe I'll start having ice cream for breakfast. Maybe. Oh, I could have ice cream with like pancakes or waffles. Never had ice cream with waffles. What's annoying about my hair being thin is that my ear always sticks out. I get like a little. open this bad boy oh it comes with a spoon i'm gonna use my new spoon fuel little rocket on it, it says to leave for five to ten minutes i don't know if i'm that patient though okay maybe i'll have to because can you open it Oh, it's quite hard to open, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Yum! Oh my goodness. Yum! It's got a little bit of ice on it though. Why did they get that? Is that called freezer bear? I'm not sure. I'm sure I read online somewhere that if you like... That's only with open ice cream. If you, I'm having some ice cream in the morning. Which is so weird. Also, the bird is so noisy. Like, I haven't noticed until I edit the videos. We just get used to the noise, but the budgie is just so noisy. And I'm having it in the morning. Because timing is nothing. Even though my eating disorder is like, oh, it's a dessert. Well, no. It's a morning snack. And you better watch out because it might become breakfast. Ooh. Wow. That is beautiful. It's so smooth. There's literally nothing better than just some real ice cream. You can't beat real ice cream. Everyone's obsessed with Halo Top, but it just tastes weird, I think. Mm. 
it's just so creamy and I've let ice cream down a bit. I haven't been giving it lots of love and it deserves more love from me. Mmm. It's so good. It's so weird how your head makes up all these rules. And like, life is literally what you make it. Why follow rules? What rules are going to get you anywhere? Like, what's stopping you from having ice cream for breakfast? Or, literally, what's stopping you from having chips for breakfast? Or, spaghetti? There's no rules. You can literally do what you want. Everyone in this world thinks that they can't do what they want. You can do what you want. And I'm doing what I want right now and it just feels amazing. Mmm. Good quality ice cream. What's your favourite brand of ice cream? I like haagen -Dazs, so good. Ben & Jerry's, that's good. Oh, Kelly's ice cream. Kelly's of Cornwall. I used to be obsessed with their chocolate fudge, salted caramel chocolate fudge ice cream, I think. I guess that. And Alicia loves sal salcombe dairy. I'm going to eat this pop because I'll probably take a while because I just like to savour the ice cream and I can't have loads in my mouth at once or I get brain freeze. And I don't get those people that can chew ice cream. Like, it just hurts my teeth. I'll time lapse it. Even though it's not that interesting, but. Hey. Hey, hey. It's a beautiful day. A wonderful day. It's time to come and play with the tweenies. I can't remember if it's a beautiful or a wonderful. Either way, it's both beautiful and wonderful today, so. The words would work. Okay. Why not? Yum. Finished. It was so nice. Mmm. already thinking about my next snack. I mean, she would have hated it if she was her. I can't help it, I swallow really loudly. One time I thought the mum swallowed so loud and I tried to swallow really loud. All right, Tiki. Gosh, she's so loud. And then I started and now I can't stop gulping when I drink. I don't know what to go for. I chose something different. Or is it biryani? I can't remember. Oh, it's biryani. Yeah. Biryani. Yeah. Sweet potato biryani. Yeah. Never had this before. Plant kitchen. You know, you Trying the new range. Three years or something. First ever biryani. Oh, look at the inside. We're at the beach and it's lovely. Or she might just stay. I don't know what I'm eating tonight. Isn't it? Wow, it's so nice. Mm. Mm. Good. Yeah, it's really good. Not too spicy. No, it's really nice. Well, fragrance see good. Spicy, I think. Mm. I don't know, honey. I haven't had one for years. Oh, it's really nice. I would buy this again. Oh my god. <laughs> That was so nice. That's good. But the dance they literally do absolutely nothing. And it like curry and a big naan as well.
Yum. Yum, yum. Just, I've changed my mindset, Mum. Yeah. Like, it's just so cool what your mind can do. Yeah. I swear in two weeks I'm going to have a breakdown because I'm going to gain around my waist. That's just what happens though, and I have to keep pushing through. And yeah. I'll just wear some comfy trousers. Yeah. Look at all of them, Mum. Deluxe custard Belgian milk chocolate, two angel delights, a rice pudding, a chocolate fudge. <laughs> and a chocolate custard. Cool, hey? <laughs> and I had the deluxe custard yesterday, vanilla and salted caramel Very last night. Good. This is going against my eating disorder rule because I'm not even hungry, but I'm still going to have a little dessert. I'm not just going to wait for the pasta to cook because 10 minutes is too long. <laughs> I'm not going to wait for the pasta to cook because 10 minutes is too long, so I'm going to have a little rice pudding. <coughs> also, my eating disorder saying you shouldn't have a mini dessert because you had one yesterday. But it doesn't matter. No. No, I'm freaking out because I'm already freaking out about the pasta. But I'm still having a rice pudding. Oh, it's so cute. My rice pudding. Mm. Oh my god, yes. Ignore my nails, okay? Don't judge. Yes. Rice pudding time. For a pre snack yeah. snack. The only thing better than a snack is having a pre snack before your snack. This is my pre snack snack. Oh, it's so good. Good, good. Rice is so versatile. Like, we just had curry and now I'm having a pudding with it. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Finished. You know what is weird? I felt like quite full and my stomach kind of hurt a bit, but now I've had food, I kind of feel a bit hungry. That's so good. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if it's like, I don't know, it's just so weird. It's like part of the recovery, isn't it? It is 10 past 10 and I've been fancying pasta with tuna and corn. For a very long time. Yeah. My eating disorder says that it's a lunch or a dinner, not a snack food. But. You fancy it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not going by rules or anything now. There's no such thing as timings or. You can have anything you want for a snack or for breakfast or for lunch. Yeah. So I'm gonna have pasta. <laughs> sure. At 10 yeah. past 10. <laughs> So cool. And it's brown pasta. Yeah, that's what we have left. Because we don't have any, I kind of wanted normal pasta, but yeah. we don't have any left. We've only got brown pasta, oh god. But oh, I'm god. still having it. Don't back out. No. Because <laughs> there's always an excuse to not have something. But it's just as nice. Plus you need that fibre. Anyway, you get your tuna and you put it in the bowl. I haven't even had tuna for ages. Hey. I used to be obsessed with tuna. It was like all I used to eat. Wow, there's loads of stuff here, isn't there? The tuna in the corn in the bowl. But then you add the salad cream, which I haven't done yet, and then you put it in the pasta. Are you more savoury or more sweet? I'm not sure. Know. I really love my chocolate though. But I used to be really into crisps, and I don't know if I'm still a crisp person, but I just haven't had them for so long. Yeah, you that... always liked crisps, didn't you? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah. I did always like chocolate as well. But that looks a little dry, so you definitely add some more. Oh, I would be too scared to add loads of sauce. Yeah. Because I'd be like, oh my god, I don't know how much I'm adding. About all the calories. Well, calories make your life better. And they're good for you. Oh, so weird. It's just an energy.
energy unit. Why is it scary? Whoa, looks good. Pasta tuna and corn for a snack. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my God, what's going on with my hair? <laughs> 10.31 p.m. and I'm having pasta tuna and corn for a snack and it's challenging eating disorder rules, it's challenging anorexia rules because my head says that pasta isn't a snack, it's a lunch or a dinner and that it's too late to have pasta but I've been fancying pasta for ages now, late at night as well and there's no, su there's no food rules about different foods and certain times you can eat whatever you want whenever you want so i'm having pasta for a snack <laughs> and quite a lot of pasta as well i've been fancying this for so long i used to take this to school all the time It's so good. <laughs> mm. I'm definitely just going to have pasta more often. <laughs> just as a snack. I can't believe I'm having pasta for a snack. So good. Pasta for a snack. Doing what I want to do. And not my eating disorder. It's so cool. Yeah. And eating different food combinations and foods. Not sticking to the same thing. Right, I'm going to eat my snack or pasta. <laughs> Still can't believe it. Time lapse time. than most of the dinners I've been having. You think so? Isn't that? Mm, you look really tired. Really? Yeah. Your eyes look tired then. Yeah, do you think that's bigger than dinners? No, not really, I don't think so. At least it's good stuff. Good for you. Mm. It's good. My first pasta as a snack. <sighs> that was really nice. Yeah. And when you when really you good. crave something or fancy something, you should just have it. Yeah. It's really, really. Oh, it's just so nice. It's good. Mm. I'm going to be having a lot more pasta, I think, late at night. <laughs> or even maybe for breakfast. Yeah, good idea. Well, I'm I'm starting to think, well, what's the point in having certain times for foods or certain foods for breakfast, lunch and dinner? Yeah. Just have it when you fancy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mum just said, does it feel great to allow myself to have something to eat? Yeah. Yeah. And it feels freeing to allow yourself. Like, it's weird because you can have whatever you want. Yeah. So why, had, why did I not before? Yeah. I'm really full up now though, but I still want to eat more, which is weird. Yeah, that's what happens, doesn't it? Mm. It's so weird. I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of you. It's great. <laughs> 12.58. I think I'm going to have... fancy another slice of tiger bread with Nutella. 
but I've already had two slices of tiger bread with Nutella today and my eating disorder thinks it's too much and it's too late and I've already had a big bowl of pasta so I'm going to have a slice with Nutella I can't believe I'm doing this Nutella at 1am already had so much Nutella today. Oh no. My anorexia says that I've already had too much tiger bread today because this is my fourth slice and I've already had Nutella on tiger bread today so I shouldn't have it again and it's 1am so it's too late but I really want it and keep saying I've eaten too much today but there's no such thing and tiger bread's amazing mm. so good white bread and Nutella reminds me of when I was younger I used to have Nutella sandwiches I want something sweet now. Challenging another anorexia rule because I'm going to have some of my birthday chocolates that everyone got for me. And we did a taste test the day before yesterday. Everyone really liked the white one and the sea salt milk chocolate with sea salt and white chocolate and these two are my favourite as well so my eating disorder says to save these chocolates because they're birthday chocolates and they're special and it also says it's also saying that I shouldn't have these two because they're everyone else's favourites but I really I'm fancying them. And we can just buy some more if anyone wants them. Because I always stop myself from having food in case other people want it. Or because it's someone else's favourite. But, yeah. Also, my eating disorder always... I always have big chocolate bars instead of a few smaller ones. And I don't know why. And my head's telling me that it's too much and I should just go to sleep, but I really want some chocolate. So I'm going to have them. And I always save my birthday chocolates forever as well, but I don't know why. This year I'm going to eat them. Challenging another anorexia rule is trying a chocolate that I'm not sure if I will like or not. Bourneville and opening an 100 gram bar of chocolate but only having a row or a strip because for some reason whenever I open a big bar of chocolate my anorexia just says like you just, you've got to eat it all like I can't just have one strip and then something else and something else but today I'm going to try Bourneville because I, I literally can't even remember if I like it or not and yeah it's nice to have a selection of things and my anorexia is like you just had chocolate on your tiger bread so you shouldn't have any more well i'm going to oh it smells very dark oh it doesn't have the capri logo on it <laughs> i was going to have another little dessert pot I am um, I was saying to myself oh, I'll have the Angel Delight because I haven't had the Angel Delight for absolutely ages I haven't had Angel Delight 
and it would be really nice. And then I thought, oh, last night I tried the deluxe custard, so I'll try this one. But really, I kind of want the chocolate custard. But it's, it's like the most calories out of all of them. And I couldn't tell if I didn't, I couldn't tell if I was being indecisive because I actually wanted to try the chocolate fudge or have the darks custard or if I wanted the chocolate custard but I'm just avoiding it because it's the most calories and then I looked and I thought I don't actually really fancy the angel delight right now but I'm telling myself oh I do and it's good because I haven't had it for ages I fancy the chocolate custard and it's got the most calories out of all of the pots and my eating disorder is telling me not to have it so I'm doing the opposite and I'm having it here is my snack plate snack number I've lost count and of course we can't forget a spoon. Snack time. Snack time. Chocolate flavour Devon custard. Devon. Mm -hmm. Haven't had chocolate custard in so long. Mm. Custard's so good. After yesterday realised how good custard is. Mm. Oh my god, what's that? Time up, time. Finished. Milk chocolate with sea salt and white chocolate with vanilla and Bourneville It's nice when I first tried it I was surprised I liked it so much because it's quite salty It's so good This is grandma's favourite and Alicia's favourite. It tastes like the Madagascan vanilla salcum dairy ice cream Alicia used to like. Or kind of like white chocolate magnum ice cream. Join Bourneville. This is Sarah's favourite chocolate. It's nice. nice. It reminds me of when I make a cake because we use Bourneville cocoa powder. Finishing the chocolate. Yay.